Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss sensitivity factors which are required to carry out the contingency analysis. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lectures we have discussed contingency analysis. There I have told you that for the selection of the contingencies we can use the sensitivity factors. Okay. So basically we know that what the contingency analysis program does first it gives the uh, possible list of the outages and that list will be a very big one so it will be very difficult to analyze all those possible outages because that way it will consume the more time okay but we have to run the security function very quickly because we need to provide time for the operator to decide the action plan as well okay so for that what we can do is instead of evaluating all those possible outages let us select some of those outages which will be more severe okay and let us analyze them only okay so for the selection of those contingencies which will be more severe we can use this sensitivity factors okay so let us discuss how these sensitivity factors are useful see basically a security analysis program it is actually carried out in the load dispatch center or sometimes it is also called as energy management system okay or again it can be also called as the control centers okay so it has to be run in that center very quickly in order to help the operator okay if we get the quick result then we can inform the operator if there are any severe violations are going to be there suppose if any emergency conditions if it is going to be there if we inform the operator well in time so he will get time to decide some control action and he can do some uh, planning in order to alleviate or in order to uh, minimize those emergencies okay see this can be attempted carrying out an approximate analysis and using the computer system having multiple processor or a vector processor for speedy analysis okay so this is the instrumentation thing okay computer using the multiple processor or a vector processor those computers will have the fast analysis okay or they are having the fast processors okay again here we are using a approximate analysis okay we are not going to do the exact analysis okay so here the system may be adequately described in an equivalent okay and that should be useful for the neighbors connected through the tie lines as well okay the system whatever we are going to use to do this security analysis program it should be described okay and in its equivalent should also be described okay because uh, what we do we have seen that area controlling okay so particularly suppose for one area if we are doing this security analysis program so when we are doing this we should take care of the areas which are neighbor to our area and if suppose if that areas if they are connected through the tie line then we consider the equivalent of the other areas while performing the security analysis program okay so for that the system modeling or the system description should be adequately done okay again we can eliminate all the non-violation cases and run complete exact program for critical case only as i said from the list whatever we will get that possible outages okay from that definitely some outages will not result into any violation okay so we can eliminate such violations okay we can eliminate such outages and we can run the same exact program for critical cases only where the severity will be more okay where emergency condition may arise so we can run the program only for such cases okay so this can be achieved using the techniques such as contingency selection okay we need to do the selection okay we need to decide which contingency is going to create the critical condition or which contingency is going to introduce the emergencies in the system and which contingency and which contingencies are not going to introduce any violations okay so accordingly we can bifurcate them and we can consider only the contingencies which are severe or which are problematic for the system okay so for that we are using such techniques such as contingency selection or contingency screening or contingency ranking okay see 
thus it will be easy to warn the operating staff in advance to enable them to take corrective action if one or more outage will result in serious overload or any violation okay if suppose from that contingencies if one or more contingencies if they are going to create serious outage or serious violation then we can inform the operator well in time okay so that they can take the corrective action okay one of the simplest way to present quick calculation of possible overload is to employ the network sensitivity okay so here the simplest way of presenting the quick calculation of possible overload uh, we can do by employing the network sensitivity factors okay so these factors actually what they do they give the approximate changes in the line flow for change in generation okay in the system and can be calculated from dc load flow okay see if suppose if there is a change in the generation so definitely the line flow will change okay so what the network sensitivity factors they do they provide the approximate change in the line flow if there is a change in the generation again it can provide the change in line flow if there is a outage in any of the line okay so based on that we have two types of the sensitivity factor okay so the first one it is the generation shift factor and the another is the line outage distribution factor okay we will discuss this one by one what is generation shift factor and what is line outage distribution factor first let us discuss the generation shift factor okay see briefly we shall describe here these two factors without driving them okay we are not going to do any derivation part here okay see basically the generation shift factor that is nothing but the alpha li okay are defined as this alpha li it is defined as it is the ratio of delta fl divided by delta pgi okay what is the meaning of this what is the delta fl it is nothing but change in megawatt power flow on lth line when change in generation that is the delta pgi take place on ith bus okay generator will be connected on the bus so whatever change in generation is going to be occur at ith bus and because of that change in generation what is the change in the power flow that is the megawatt power flow on lth line that is given by this delta fl okay here it is assumed that that change in that generation on ith bus is fully compensated by an equal and opposite change in generation at slack bus okay definitely if suppose if you are providing a constant load and for that constant load if suppose if there is a change in generation on any of the bus then we need to compensate it okay in either way if suppose if it is increasing the generation or if there is a decrease in the generation so accordingly we need to compensate it because we need to supply the load which is a constant okay so that compensation basically uh, it is done with the help of the generators or the generator which is connected at the slack bus okay and with all other bus uh, generator remaining fixed at their original power generation okay so now the factor that is alpha li gives the sensitivity of lth line flow to change in generation at i bus okay see if suppose if there is a outage of the generator which is connected at i bus then what will be the change in the megawatt power flow on lth line we will get it with the help of this factor called uh, alpha li or generation shift factor okay here we are getting the approximate value how we are getting the approximate value let us discuss that okay let us consider that the outage of lth ith unit okay there is a outage of the generator on ith unit and that outage or that loss of the generator is taken by the generator which is connected at the slack bus okay so as we are considering that there is a complete loss of the generator or let's say there is a somewhat decrease in the generation on ith bus so that decrease is now compensated by the generator which is connected at the slack bus okay so because of that what will be the change in the megawatt power flow on the lth line we can calculate it with the help of this equation number 1 okay 
see this FL cap, it indicate power flow on Lth line after the failure of Ith generator. Okay, it is equal to, this is nothing but the power flow of the same line before the failure of the generator. Okay, that is the pre-contingency value plus that is the generation shift factor into change in generation. Okay, so we can do it for all the line. Okay, for let's say if we are having a number of lines let's say if we are having n number of line so we can do for we can calculate that change in power flow megawatt flow on the line with the help of this formula okay now the values of the line flow obtained from this equation number one can be compared to their limits and those violating their limit can be informed to the operator for necessary control action okay when we will get this change in line flow we can compare it with their ratings if suppose if any of the line flow is violating then we can inform the operator that because of the outage of that generator this line is now getting overloaded or if it is violating their limit you please take some necessary control action to avoid that violation or to avoid that overloading condition okay again this generation shift sensitivity factor are linear estimate of change in line flow with change in the power at the bus okay thus suppose we are considered the outage at i only at one bus okay we have considered only at i bus okay if suppose if there is an outage at multiple buses then in that case how we can do that how we can analyze that then we can take the help of that principle of the superposition okay consider outage one by one and calculate their effects and at the end club all those effect and the result we can compare again with the limits of those line if any violation will be there inform the operator if no violation no need to inform the operator okay this is how we can do the we can take the help of the generation shift factor or the generation shift sensitivity factor okay again the second one which was the line outage distribution factor okay for that let us assume that the loss of the ith generator okay as i said let us first complete this uh, that is the outage of the multiple generator okay in that case how we can do that because we have seen the formulas for outage of one generator only for multiple generator let us assume that the loss of ith generator is to be made up by the generation action on all the generators okay of the interconnected system picked up in proportion to their maximum megawatt rating okay suppose there is a loss of the generator at i bus now that loss is been going to take up by all the generators which are connected in that interconnected system earlier we have considered that loss it will be taken care by the generator which is at slack bus now let us consider that that loss will be taken care by the all the generators which are there in that interconnected system and that uh, pickup will be in proportion to the maximum rating of that generator okay thus proportion of the generation pickup of the kth unit okay how that kth unit can pick up the uh, loss of that generation we can calculate with the help of this uh, factor uh, beta ki it is equal to pjk max divided by summation m not equal to i for all m pgm max okay where this pgm max is nothing but the maximum megawatt rating of mth generator and this factor beta ki it is nothing but the proportionality factor for pickup of kth unit when ith unit fail okay so with this how we can calculate the change in the line flow okay now for checking the lth line flow we may write this is the changed value okay and this is the line flow pre-contingency or before the fault okay plus the alpha li that is the generation shift factor and there we have to use this term okay because now we are considering the loss is going to be taken up by all the generators okay so in that case we can calculate the change in the line flow with the help of the second equation okay and same thing we can repeat check for the violation if oh, any violation or overloading is there we can inform the info operator okay similarly the line outage distribution factor it can also be used for checking the line overload when some of the line are lost okay when there is a loss of the line when there is an outage on the line 
then definitely other line will get overloaded okay so that we can check with the help of this line outage distribution factor okay how we can use this line outage distribution factor basically it is given by this formula dli okay d is indicating line outage distribution factor okay is equal to delta fl divided by f not i where this dli it is line outage distribution factor when monitoring lth line after an outage of ith line okay when there is a ith line outage is there we are going to check the overloading of lth line okay so that is given by this factor this delta fl is nothing but change in megawatt flow on the lth line and this f not i is nothing but the pre contingency line flow on ith line okay now if the pre contingency line flow on lines l and i the power flow on the line l with line i out can be found out by employing this d factor okay if we know the pre contingency flows on line l and i okay now if there is a outage of i line then the power flow of lth line can be found out by employing this distribution factor okay line outage distribution factor see this uh, fl cap it gives the line flow of lth line with ith line outage and dli it is the line outage distribution factor and f not i is nothing but the pre contingency or pre outage on lth and ith line respectively okay now with this one can quickly check by calculating d factor for all the lines for overloading for outage of a particular line okay if suppose if there is outage of particular line one can easily check quickly all the lines for overloading with the help of this distribution factor okay line outage distribution factor okay this can be repeated for outage of each line one by one and overload can be found out for the corrective action okay we can do this thing repeatedly for outage of each line okay and in that way we can find out the overload and if any overload is found then we can decide the control action or we can decide the corrective action okay here it may be noted that the line flow can be positive or negative hence we must check f against negative f max as well as the positive f max okay that is the line flow capacity okay line flow can be found out using the telemetry system or with state estimation technique okay because in the beginning only while discussing the power system security i told you that for monitoring the quantities of the power system we are either using the telemetry system or we can take the help of the state estimation technique as well okay if the network undergo any significant structural change the sensitivity factors must be updated okay so if suppose if there is a any significant structural changes there in the network then according to the structural changes in the network the sensitivity factors of the networks must also be updated okay so this way these two factors are helpful in selecting the contingencies okay thank you very much